the final. And uh, it's either Mustafa of Indonesia or Tian Hao of China who he'll meet. But please for our players, Ju Xiu Yu and Xi Xin Chang from Korea. So as the players make their way out, this is uh, how things stand in the women's doubles. Jung Kyung Yun and Shin Seung Chan here up against Shizuku Matsuo and Mami Nato. There's the Japanese pair, another Japanese pair. It's Ayaka Hirota, Yuki Fukushima, who uh, only won last weekend uh, in Scotland up against Pun Lok Yan and Se Ying Suet later. So this is the first of the women's doubles, our fourth match on this semi-finals day at the Macau Open 2015. Grand Prix gold. The uh, number six seeds up against the number four seeds. Lin from uh, Macau, our umpire, going through the usual preliminaries. Time to swap sides. So let's uh, run you through things here as we see the players uh, warm up. Never met before. Well, the Koreans of uh, Jung and Shin. Straight games win yesterday. 34 minutes only on court. Only came together as a, a pair a year ago, almost exactly at last year's Hong Kong Open, but they haven't really teamed up since uh, the Japan Open. Here's the Japanese pair, Matsuo and Nato. They've been together a, a long time, number of years, although they did have a little spell apart. You can see, lost the second game to another Korean pair yesterday, Go Arara and Yuhei won, but they won the third very comfortably, as you saw, 21 points to seven. Semi-finalists in uh, their home open, the Japan Open back in September. There's Ipulin, local umpire. And our service judge is from Chinese Taipei, Wang Chienchung. There he is. a fairly new partnership, the uh, Koreans. Winners of the Denmark Open beat the world number one pair from uh, Japan, did Jung and Shin, Mitsaki Matsutomo and Iyaka Takehashi. They were given a walkover in the final by Tian Ching and Zhao Yunlei because of injury. So, I mean, to have that super serious title under their belt, uh, also makes the semi-finals of the French Open. There are a, a pair on the up. There is a lot of good Korean women's doubles pair. Of course, they're ranked 19 in the world right now. Four Korean pairs in the world's top 20, all ranked between 11 and 19, actually. Former world number three pair, of course, uh, Matsuo and Nato. 
just their second semi-final of the year. And the uh, other was at the French Open. confusion over who's serving to whom and what and where. Are we going to get underway here? Okay. Perfectly found, and it's been a very bright start from the Koreans. Straight into the stride, Jung and Shin. And you have to say, even though they're the number six seeds up against the number four seeds, obviously not matched up before, but you'd feel, given the form they've been in, they would be the favourites. You can see off to them. Very aggressive start. Jump comfortably putting that one away. Well, I have to say, as far as beginnings are concerned, it doesn't get much better than that from the uh, Korean two. Yeah, but a little bit of daylight for the Japanese pair there. Take that all day long. Well, they're going to have to. Uh, Defend a bit better than this at the moment. Shizuku, Matsuo, and Maminato. I mean, very experienced players. Jun at the uh, back of the court, the, uh, the elder of the two. 25, the experienced player. She was at the London Games with Kim Hana. Of course, uh, one of those pairs famously disqualified. Shin, just 20 years of age. Yeah. Oh, brilliantly done. Little pat on the back for Shin after that as well. Super shot. What I was saying, beginnings aren't much more impressive than the one they've made. Well, could easily just say that again. In fact, I think I just did. They look just playing a different game, aren't they? I mean, can't get on the front foot at all, this Japanese pet. Oh, delightful again from Shin. This is magical. Making it look so easy. Oh, 
And it uh, already feels a long way back, doesn't it, for Matsuo Nato. Matsuo celebrated her 29th birthday early this week. But the uh, celebration of a win looks a long way off right now. Still time to turn it around. That's just wide, though, for a Matsuo. Service for court. Well, that ends uh, a run of seven straight points. probably one of the most uh, one-sided opening quarters you'll see. Obviously, we had the uh, Anakani Yamaguchi uh, being uh, pretty much pummeled by PV Sindhu earlier in the women's singles, but Jung and Shin, the standard of their play there was terrific. 11-2 the lead. Maminete there and Shizuku Matsuo. They've got some working out to do here, haven't they? Really have. We're returned together as a pair of the Japanese. Last March, after uh, over a year apart. the Osaka International last year. Well, even when they think they played a winner, they haven't. The Japanese there, brilliantly got back. But they do get a point. Some errors now Hard to maintain that level. Nicely played again. They're yeah, back in their stride again, aren't they? Korea winning this uh, 
Macau Open women's doubles a couple of times. Yeon Hugh Won, who we uh, saw earlier in the uh, mixed doubles, winner of this discipline back in uh, 2012 with Zhang Yina. They were impressive in their uh, win against the Indonesian pair of Alexander and Octavanian. Well, it's at this point of proceedings. Uh, I'd like to offer some uh, some hope to fans of Shizuka Matsuo, maybe Nato, but it's hard to see what you can pick on to offer that hope, really, because they might pick up the odd point here and there, and I'm sure they'll fight as hard as they can to the end. But ten point the gap in this opening game, and that gap is fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Uh, just long this time from Shin. She has hit some great winners in this match. Just missed out there, though. Four to go for a shots as well with the score as it is. Chung Kyung Young finds the corner this time. Right at the body of Maminato. She's done that already in this match, so no real surprise, but she's pretty good at it, isn't she? Shin Sung Chan here. Beautiful drive, cross court, right in the corner. Serves good. Match uh, it looks in their hands right now, doesn't it? Opening game goes to Jung Chung Yun and Shin Sung Chan. Very impressively indeed. 21 points to nine. A very one-sided affair. Scoreline. Hard to see Matsu and Nato getting back in this one.
I suppose no surprise really to see the uh, Koreans on court after just a couple of seconds of chat which said yeah well played guys keep it going much more for Nato and Matsuo to work out Shizuko, Matsuo, um, Mami Nato turn this match on its head. They're going to have to rely, I think, a little bit on Jung and Shin seeing their level drop as well. at least but uh, it's the Korean to emerge on top Yeah, beautifully done. Much better from the Japanese, you have to say. NATO heavily involved in that rally, but Shin has the shots, doesn't she? Shinachi had a great chance to win the point already, missed it. Rare missed opportunity, but she's taking that one there. Afraid to spine up a little bit more resistance, more of the same, really. Oh. Racing ahead again. out another point on the board to this impressive Korean pair it's 
suppose you never know what's going to happen. Akana Yamaguchi showed that when you're down and out, seemingly you can come back and at least cause a stir. But I'm afraid Shizuku Matsuo and Mami Nato right now are being outclassed. Well, you can see that uh, these two uh, are on their way up. Jung Jun Yun and Shun Siung Chan. Lost at the second round in the last two events in the China and Hong Kong Open. Nine straight points. A little bit of confusion there between the two Japanese, and that brings up the interval pretty quickly again, doesn't it? And uh, I'm afraid the uh, drama's been sucked out of the occasion here. 22 minutes gone on the clock, and 21-9, 11-3 now in the second. Jung, Kyung Yung, Shin, Siung Chan are on the verge of victory. their coach uh, come over to talk to them there. No need to say anything. Must be tough, mustn't it, when you know uh, deep in your heart. I mean, you'll give it everything, but you know that uh, whatever you try, really, it's not going to be good enough. Playing for pride now, Matsuo and Nato. Sometimes you have to put your hands up and say, beaten by the better team. Relief at last.
good rally, isn't it? Oh, Shin misses it again. <laughs> she kind of got her feet stuck there, didn't she, Shin? Oh, okay. It's all tins and purposes if she put that one away for a winner. Just the late points, the lead. Just a question of uh, how many they win by hit. And it's looked that way, really, from uh, the opening half a dozen points. In fact, you can even say the opening four points. I mean, they started fantastic, and they haven't let up since. Four more points required. Tough on NATO. Tough on Matsuo. Tough on the uh, watching coaches as well. And of course, uh, could be another Japanese pair they uh, face in the final. Sayaka Hirota, Yuki Fukushima. Possible for them to play them in the final. Of course, Pulnok Yan and Seeing Sue might have something to say about that. There's a, I mean, the odd error when you least expect it cre creeps in. Maybe as the match has gone on, maybe a lack of concentration because it has been a bit of a cruise. some resistance in that rally, didn't they? But always just hanging on the Japanese pet. Been pretty relentless, hasn't it? seen that much of that there have we
just now. going to be a hard pair to stop even if they uh, whoever they meet tomorrow in the final if they can play at the level that they uh, played much of this match for Oh, brilliant, brilliant, excellent. The fantastic partnership play that. And it brings up match points. 31 minutes on court. And uh, a real delight to watch at times. Why she covered across here, brilliantly read the situation. Shinsun Chang bringing up 11 match points. Wonderful way to end it all. And what's been an excellent display of women's doubles badminton from uh, a pair who uh, look the real deal out there, don't they? Great combination between the experienced Jung Jung Young and the young Shin Seung Chan. And they, uh, you have to say, wiped the floor really with Shizuku Matsuo and Mami Nato here. It really was uh, totally convincing from start to finish. And the scoreline, well, it does them justice. There it is, 21-9, 21-9. And they will meet either Sayaka Hiroto Yuki Fukushima or Pun Lokyan Seiying Suet in tomorrow's final. Sided affair and uh, the destiny of uh, the winner. Well, it seemed uh, pretty clear early on, didn't it? So confirmation that uh, it's uh, Jung and Shin very comfortably into the final. Putsei or Fukushima Hirota, who they'll meet tomorrow there on court uh, a little bit later on. So four of the semi-finals completed. 
and our final offer for you of uh, the 10 is going to be the men's doubles. And uh, these are the four pairs left in. We're going to be watching the uh, bottom half of Ivanov and Sozanov against Cohen Shin. Because uh, Chen and Jinin Wang very angry Aaron and Ryan Agung Saputra the other pairs also remaining just waiting for the players to come out could be a little longer this one than uh, the offering we just saw in the women's doubles <laughs> 